Okay, so here's my 2003 uh, Mercury Marauder. I'm gonna do a little quick, uh, a little quick blurb on uh, some work I had done to it, and what I wanted to do. And what it was is uh, a couple years ago. I've had this car for about three or four years. Uh, I think about four years now. And a few years ago, I decided to loan this car to my son. And he was using this as uh, his second car, or sorry, it was my second car, and he used it as his car. He, he ended up, uh, you know, he was delivering pizzas with this and this and that. And I mean, it was a it was a mistake on my part because I love this car very much. But I let him use it. And to make a long story short, he dinged it up. He scuffed it up. Uh, the front bumper was all cracked and broken. The lenses were broken. Um, he dinged up this complete fender. This fender was redone and repainted. I got the work done at Mako, so it's not, it's not a hundred, hundred percent, but you know, for where I live, getting a car like this painted would have been probably over $10,000. So I got them to do the panels. I got Mako to do, they did the bumper cover. They did the valance. They did this fender. And they did, I think over on this side, they did a quarter panel. I had a little rust hole right down here, right down there. So they did that and they buffed out one of the doors. And uh, of course, after I got all this work done, I had my car parked at my shed at, at my house. And there was a ladder leaning against my building and the ladder fell right there. So I got this massive ding right here, which is really gross because I just spent, uh, oh, sorry. They also did the roof because the roof was full of cancer. So this, this was all Mako job. This was almost $4,000 and it's Mako. It's not perfect. See, there's a big blemish there. You know, if you watch any of my other videos, you know, I'm, I'm painting an entire car with a spray can and, you know, I don't even have this on my spray can jobs, but I don't know if you can spot that, but it's got like a little, little matte spot but anyway overall it wasn't quite four thousand it was thirty six hundred and the car looks good i mean it's not perfect um on the back you see the blacked out uh, tail lights and reverse lights i did this uh i bought the uh, tint spray i did this a couple years ago and uh, that turned out really well really happy about that and um uh, and it's held up. The spoiler, I installed the uh, trunk spoiler. Some of them came with it, some didn't. Mine did not, but I just really like the look of it. And I mean, I like, you know, I like things that are somewhat original, but I just had to have this, I just had to have this trunk spoiler. I think it really makes it. And um, I've got the oversized tires on there. I showed that in a previous video. Some people liked them, some people did not. Uh, might be a little overkill, but I was just having fun with it. What the heck? But what I want to show now is uh, I want to show these lights. Uh, like I said, when my son was driving this car, he smucked this car up a little bit. And I went out and I got all new lights. So these lights, once I got the car painted, the side markers and the headlights are all brand new. But before I did that, I had this idea, my little head that I wanted these projector style headlights. And the projector style headlights, they're for a Crown Vic, but I really wanted to see if they would fit this car. And it would not be, it would not be factory standard or anything. It would be a deviation, but I thought they looked really cool. So I'll, I'll show you those right now. Okay, so these are the original lights that came with the car. These are the ones that my son smacked up. Uh, that was a side marker that wore the, the worst of it. The headlights were okay, but I just thought if I was going this far with the paintwork and that, uh, I may as well go all out. So I kept these. I don't, I'm not sure why, just because maybe they're original. But this is what I ordered over here, and I had my heart set on making these work, although, like I said, they're not factory. These are aftermarket, but these are the projector-style headlight. They're stunning to look at. Absolutely stunning. I love them. And uh, with shipping and everything, you know, time you get this over to Canada and there they are there see they're different than the factory 
and they've got the separate eye sockets built in and they're all molded one piece and they've got the little LEDs in here just they're just it's just a work of art but I um, they are for a Crown Vic and in my little brain I mean every you know it is basically it's a Panther platform it's the same car but not quite and I tried my damnedest to make this work but it would not fit and I was able to make it fit the fasteners are completely different the fasteners are different uh, they mount different but I wanted this so bad I wanted this real bad I think that would have been a good look uh, however the main difference is I'm gonna set I'm gonna set this up here now my new paintwork not very brilliant but I'm gonna do it anyway so if I line this up here these are the projector style headlights stay um, I was able to fit them in and I like that they're one piece and I just I thought I thought I'm sorry this is factory this is the proper Marauder light from Ford that looks way better way better and I was willing to deviate from stock however the Crown Vic grill is shaped different you see where this light comes up and curves this one goes more like this and squares off so I had this is the style that you pull the the latches out if I remember correctly and these ones here have the holes so I actually I even went inside in the plastic mountings and I drilled little holes and I had this all fitted in and it plugged plug and play it was perfect the only thing is is I had some mass I had a massive gap here and I just couldn't live with that gap uh, although it would have been something so again projector style headlights designed for a Crown Vic will not fit the Mercury's I don't know about a town car I don't think because I think this is pretty much the same shape as a town car uh, but don't quote me on that so these lights if you ever want uh, an upgrade for your lights for the Marauders this does not fit unfortunately and uh, I'm kind of stuck with them now uh, like I said, I'm probably out, uh, probably close to $500, I think, with shipping and everything. Can, you know, Canada, everything's three times the price of what it should be. But uh, I tried to sell them locally, and of course, uh, I had no uh, no bites. But now that these cars are getting more, they're getting more and more popular. Uh, even I mean, I don't mean just the Marauder, but the Panther platforms in general, uh, even the old cop cars. I mean, they're sought after now. And uh, these cars can only go up in value. So eventually, someone's going to want my lights. And I can recoup some of my money. Anyway, that's my little blurb on my Marauder. And these aftermarket lights that did not fit. And uh, absolutely love this car. I just had it clean, but drove through the parking lot at work. It's already dirty. And there she is. Okay. Thanks for watching.